update. I've tried my best to keep up with everybody, um, but there's been a whole lot of response on the Xbox controller. And honestly, I just I can't answer uh, everybody. And that is why I've asked people to go to support.wvpctech and put in a trouble ticket so that I can get to you. And, well, basically we're gonna today we're going to cover a couple different uh, troubleshooting techniques. But most of you seem to be having problems with the driver. Uh, you don't get past the driver. And one of the reasons why is that Microsoft keeps changing the URL for the driver. So what I've done is I've created a subdomain on my website. And you can access it by going to Xbox driver.wvpctech.com and that will redirect to Microsoft's driver. Now, if my, as Microsoft changes that URL again, if they do, then I'll know it right away and I will update that URL so that when you go to xboxdriver.wvpctech.com it automatically redirects to the right URL. And let's show you the, the driver page. This is what you'll see when you go there. It'll automatically redirect to this. And you want to choose either the wired controller or the wireless controller. And let's say it's the wireless. Now please keep in mind, um, many of you are still having problems with the wireless because you don't have the extra receiver, the extra adapter. It will not work without that adapter. You want to choose your right operating system and if you have Windows 8 you do want to choose the Windows 7 driver and you have to know whether it's 32-bit or 64-bit uh, and then you just go to once you choose that you just choose download install it and then you should be good but um, you know where a lot of you are having problems you've already tried to you've already had the controller hooked up and the driver installed and if that's the case then this isn't going to work for you because you there's a bunch of steps that you have to take in order for that to work which is in our uh, it's actually in our book that we made um, because it was um, there's such a demand for it and we couldn't keep up with everybody I created an advanced book um, I've actually been working on it on and off uh, for the past six months but we finally got it done and this tells you not only to how to uh, connect the controller but if you run into problems there's your troubleshooting section and there's also some work that you need to do before this will work because a lot of you aren't even don't even have updated drivers for the, your other hardware and if that's the case then you're just going to run into problems but uh, I have detailed instruction detailed videos in the book and uh, you know I've got a lot of requests for other things so I've put that in the book as well like for example how to have your connect on your PC or laptop and you know kind of hack it a bit uh, I've got that in the book and how to play 360 games on your PC without doing surveys. It's absolutely, it's absolutely free, the emulator that you'll be using to play the either the ROMs or the play them right off the disc. Or I, I say ROMs, I mean ISOs. Uh, and how to prevent the Red Ring of Death and also how to repair the Red Ring of Death. And I've also put links to... Um, some inexpensive hardware and inexpensive tools for replacing or to, for fixing the red ring of death and um, this is a screenshot that I took of when I was setting up the connect and then this is a um, little screenshot I took of an emulator that I did try and it, it was it was fake but um, I haven't done an updated screenshot yet, but I do have a program that works. And then, of course, with the people that uh, get the book, you've got dedicated 
tech support. So you don't have to wait till I'm available before I am able to get to you. The people that have the book get dedicated support. So let's say it's Monday morning or let's it's Monday night and you have a problem with your 360. You put in a support ticket and uh, you know we will know by your email if you are a person that ha has bought the book then we're getting to you right away uh, it's just you know we you know that this book really is a um, it's going to be rare that you run into problems after going through the book but our support team is here for you if you run into problems and you know with that we will be offering free remote support which means that uh, you know if let's say that you've done all the steps you know we've talked to you and that's not working the best way for to fix your problem is for us to connect to you and it's 100% secure and you don't have to pay anything for it because you, you know again you have our book You can view the details of our book by going to xboxhacks.com and I mean this covers you know all the things that are in the book but not only that there is um, there's two levels of the book you can get just the book itself um, pretty cheap and then you can get the book with lifetime updates so as Windows changes, uh, as the controllers change, you know, we'll be creating updates to the book. You'll get them for free, provided you get the, the, the book with lifetime upgrades. And we're actually in the process of creating a membership site. And you would get 100% free access to the membership site, which would also have some... Um, different hacks for PlayStation and the PlayStation controller and so forth. It'll be everything related to gaming. If, if you want it, we'll make it happen. And um, it's going to be a really, really nice membership site. And even if you don't get the lifetime updates, then, you know, we'll still offer you that membership site uh, at a, um, an affordable cost. I, I believe it'll be like $10 a month if you pay by month. And if you pay more than one month at a time then you get um, a discount but as you can see right now I have the book lower to 20 that's with no updates and then if you want the lifetime updates which that's what I recommend it's forty dollars and you just click that and then you can buy now through PayPal because it's secure And my videos inside the book are very detailed, um, so they're easy to follow. On YouTube, I try to keep my videos a little bit, um, I try to keep them as short as possible and not try and put too much information in there. And this book is in PDF format, so you can use it on any device. And it's got the videos embedded into the pages. Uh, into the PDF so you can actually view the video while you're reading or you can just you can right click and you can make it full screen or you can even have it a floating window to where you're reading and then you have the video up here in the corner and it is high definition of course okay now that we have discussed the book I'm going to go over a few troubleshooting um, techniques to go through now um, there was some dilemma and some discussions on plugging your controller to a USB 3.0 port. And I have investigated this and you can use your controller on a 3.0 port. However, to install your controller, it has to be in a 2.0 port. I have yet to find a 3.0 port where it will install. You simply um, follow all the steps, use your 2.0 port. Once you have restarted after driver installation, 
and you plug in your controller to the 2.0 port for the first time, once that's done, it'll work in the 3.0 port every time after that. Okay, and um, in, in the book I've covered some of the, a lot of the different controllers because there's, there's so many controllers out there that we had to go over each, each one. And, um, you know, I can't cover all the different controllers in these, in this video right now. <clears throat> so that, that is in the book, but I will show you a technique that will work for most of you if you're having problems. But only follow these steps if you're running into problems. Okay, now you can see my driver is on the desktop. What I want to do is I want to create a new folder. Right click, click on new, and then folder. We're going to label that Xbox. Hit enter. And then we are going to left click and drag it to the folder. Okay, now it's in the folder. Now what we want to do is go to Start, Control Panel, now I have mine on Icons, if you have yours on Category it's going to look different, uh, but I'm going to Device Manager. And of course, I'm not going to have the yellow exclamation mark because I've already got mine successfully installed. If you've tried to install your controller and you've had no luck, the first step is the one I want you to follow, which is you look for your yellow exclamation mark. It's probably under human interface, devices, and you're, let's just assume, right? Let's just pretend this is it right here. And we want to right click update driver software and there's two different ways to do this but I want you to try the first way first see there's as I told you there's search automatically for updated driver you don't want that we have to manually install it so browse my computer for driver software and then as you can see right here it says uh, desktop Xbox but we don't want to do that first. We want to try this one first because if you have installed your driver, uh, then the driver software is already on your computer. And you go to Microsoft. And actually I took mine off of here. So let's install the driver first. What I'm going to do is pause the video why I install this because it was the Windows, I had this on Windows 8, not Windows 7. Sorry.